On your spiritual journey, you've probably practiced being content. It's a really good antidote to desire. Because if you're just being content, all the yakety yak of I want and it would be better if and I'm losing out and the insatiable desire dialogue, it has no place when we're practicing contentment. But there is something to watch out when you're practicing contentment. And here's the deal. True contentment is clean and clear and there is no desire. It's a different frequency altogether. Desire doesn't get a look in. But many people practice contentment that has a little edge which really is uh, tainted by another egoic pattern that is hiding there. This type of contentment is not authentic uh, contentment. What it is, is a sense of, I'll be content with this because I don't deserve anything better. I'll be content with this because really, it's good enough. Because this is what I got. Because this is what I supposed, I'm supposed to do, so I'll be happy with this. That's not contentment. That's the ego using contentment in order to justify low self-worth, low self-esteem. Totally in the me, myself, I realm. So the personal I can use a spiritual practice in order to fatten itself. And this happens. So if you're practicing contentment, let it be clean and clear. Be honest with yourself. Feel into it and see if it's genuine contentment or if there's a making do in it. Clear out the personal eye out of contentment. It has nothing to do with the relative putting up with whatever you have. Nothing to do with that at all. Contentment is outside of what I have and what I have not. Contentment is touching in on the natural state. And it's very beautiful. And enjoy letting your attention rest there. Let the phenomenal freedom of being desire free, let it come to you in your practice of contentment. Contentment is rich. It does not lack anything in any way. It is outside of having and not having. Enjoy it. <laughs>